as well. Today we have a big program. The relationships with India are developing dynamically. It's a huge Russian partner in our program, as we are specified specify to shipbuilding related to export, import, and trade uh, uh, volumes and technology issues of technologies. So they can be the basis of development. Uh, of cooperation in uh, uh, shipbuilding and ship rate equipment. And also we can see that some personnel and training, uh, personal training uh, issues. Let's give the floor for our program to Ilyov from Ilyov, representing Ministry of uh, in Trade and Industry of Russian Federation. Ilya, please. Dear, dear colleagues, on behalf of the Department of Shipbuilding Industry and Marine Equipment of the Ministry of Trade and Industry of the Russian Federation, and on behalf of myself, I'm glad to welcome the principal online conference prospects of uh, uh, the development of Russian Indian cooperation in the area of uh, shipbuilding. I thank uh, Nova International Company and uh, St. Petersburg Center of Support for this opportunity, uh, given the opportunity to speak before this uh, uh, audience and, and discuss the key areas of cooperation uh, of our council, the area of civil cooperation. Uh, I would like to mention the Russian India, our long time strategic partners and cooperation in the area of shipbuilding, get great potential initiatives. Implemented by the government of India, including the Marine Strategy in 2030, gives great impetus for for uh, bringing it to a higher level. As uh, the result of the first half of 2021, the, uh, the uh, trade volume, uh, 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 trade uh, turnover of Russia and India exceeded 5.2 billion dollars, uh, which is 31 percent higher compared to the previous year. And export of Russian interior amounted to $3.2 billion, exceeding the uh, values for the 2020 by 37%. Import of Russia from India increased by 23%, up to $2 billion, uh, with a 1.5% of share in uh, Russian uh, uh, international trade. Uh, the, Indian share, uh, trade volume uh, came up from the 16th to the 15th, uh, from the 15th to the 16th uh, place. Uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, the export of vessels reduced in, in volume by 89% from $22 billion to $2.4 billion. And we are interested in resuming the volumes. Uh, and we've got a lot of uh, Russian uh, ship, uh, ship, uh, shipyards uh, that have got a great portfolio. Uh, every year, uh, Russia plans to deliver about 125 vessels. Um, uh, and uh, the increase of uh, cumulative uh, water displays of the delivered vessels can uh, be over 15 percent, uh, will be increased by 15 percent thanks to increase of uh, production program of uh, the uh, sh shipbuilding facilities. Um, uh, the great increase of portfolio of the orders of Russian enterprises will promote uh, the program of uh, vessel leasing. Um, and we plan to build 450 vessels with 350 to uh, dry uh, cargo vessels and uh, tankers, 76 crews and passenger ships and others. Uh, uh, we, uh, we see uh, India implementing uh, made initiatives uh, uh, made in India, and they make a, an accent on the nationalization of production uh, using the cluster approach. 
about 60 uh, priorities of development are earmarked in India now. Uh, and, and Indian companies are uh, studying the uh, possibility of uh, purchasing of uh, LN, uh, purchase of LNG in Russia uh, and entering the Arctic projects. And uh, the, uh, in December 2020, uh, the uh, Vladimir Manamakh uh, first in class tanker was delivered. Uh, till now, uh, most of uh, the um, participation in uh, Zvezda uh, was made by Chinese and South Korean companies. Now the Indian companies will be uh, entering this business. And uh, um, we will say that in uh, the forum in September, in the Eastern Economic Forum, Prime Minister of Republic of India, Narendra Modi, uh, not uh, informed that uh, one of the hugest uh, shipbuilding uh, companies of India, sh sh uh, shipbuilding yards, Mazadon Dock Shipbuilding Limited, they have become a partner of Russian uh, ship shipyards Vizda. And uh, we, Russia and India, are the gates to the uh, increasing uh, market. And when our meetings with Indian partners, we you can hear that the readiness of Indian partners uh, in uh, joint projects in vessel, uh, joint uh, vessel building. And there is great interest in building of hovercrafts and uh, uh, hovercraft vessels and also the hydrofoils and other vessels. But to, years we've been uh, running a great dialogue in the area of cooperation and there is an interest in international partnership it's creation of joint production and transfer of technologies sales of ready-made products leasing and providing complex services and also research works i hope that russian indian uh, production facilities will carry on with uh, jointly beneficial uh, cooperation. So, Department of Shipbuilding of Ministry of Trade and Industry of Russia is ready uh, to provide all can support uh, our Indian partners in our joint work. Thanks you for your attention, and I hope that for the fruitful cooperation with Russia and India in the part of civil shipbuilding. Thanks a lot, Ilya, for a very interesting uh, stress point on our relations with India. I think India is becoming the partner in the uh, uh, is joining this uh, this now conference becomes a partner of Rosneft and uh, uh, increases efforts in this partnership. India is one of the partnerships interested of uh, uh, technology of, of Arctic area development and we've heard about it. Uh, Alexander
Да, вас хорошо слышно. Здравствуйте, Александр. First of all, I'd like to welcome all the participants of the conference on behalf of the trade mission uh, employees and to thank NIVAC, international company, for the initiation of this event. Really, the issues related to shipbuilding and ship repair and shipping in our trade relationships versus of, uh, in economic sphere of our two countries has crucial importance and it's becoming more and more important all projects related to transport or have a transport uh, dimension are crucial for our relationship for our cooperation and shipbuilding and ship repair and shipping uh, issues are very, very natural because Russia, Russia and India are, uh, Russia is a, a maritime country because it's, uh, it spans uh, three oceans. The representative of uh, uh, shipbuilding department um, uh, actually made my task easier because here, actually made the picture of our trade relationships of, uh, of in 2020 we had uh, actually a drop a 17 percent drop uh, in our trade turnover in in pandemic area the 11 uh, billion point two million uh, was was the volume now uh, the uh, indicators dropped but recovery of Indian economy is going very fast. I, I think I can make a mistake, but um, IMF that in the second quarter of the current year, the growth of economy of India uh, amounted to 20.1%. It's an economy of India is very uh, grown, very dynamically, very fast. And it's one of the uh, uh, most important partners for us, but historically, Russia has uh, been uh, delivering and supplying chemical and mechanical products, mineral products, and precious uh, stones, uh, metals, uh, and uh, pulp and paper uh, industry products, and defense uh, products, products industry products haven't been a strategic partners for many years. Uh, Russia and India have been cooperating successfully in many uh, areas from uh, in, in a great range of economy. Uh, we would like to mention uh, that India has been showing very constructive, pragmatic approach, developing such initiatives as making India and self-sufficient India, marine strategy 2030 that's been mentioned, Sagar Mala Jalma, the project sent our enterprises uh, of shipbuilding complex uh, enterprises, sent the signal that trade relationship between India and uh, Russia should come to a new level in terms of civil shipbuilding. In Russia, uh, uh, Russia pre, uh, produces, delivers over 100 uh, sh uh, ships and ri river sea class. And minding uh, the length uh, uh, length, overall length of rivers in Russia is over 12.4 uh, million kilometers. It's been mentioned that we've uh, achieved great success in transport, uh, inland vessels, coastal vessels, high-speed passenger vessels, uh, river C-class uh, vessels, dredgers 
and other specialized vessels. For the uh, last two years, we've been active, uh, actively uh, uh, having dialogue with the Indian, Indian companies in the area of incorporation of shipbuilding complex. We are men, we're men civil shipbuilding are not touching the naval cooperation part where we've got a very nice cooperation for many years but more and more russian companies are showing more and more interest to share their confidence with our indian partners in all spheres in design area in navigation uh, setting up systems and creating the cutting edge free now we have an example so, of approach of a Russian companies to Indian market. Uh, so we can say about the hovercraft built in India. We have like Christie Hovercraft Company, Flot uh, Stock Companies. Uh, they've been actively cooperating with Indian partners. The joint shipbuilding corporation has shown a lot of interest in into the Indian market. And so these prospect projects like research, building research vessel for polar research, uh, sea river class ships. So, so uh, the Vimple and uh, Vizda are interested in cre creating joint project on the territory of Russia and of India. Reminding the experience of Russian companies and the, and the Indian potential jointly, and it's a key word in it, jointly. To cover it, we can jointly successfully cooperate, uh, implement national strategies existing in our countries. And uh, what do we need to focus on uh, to do that? First, to create a joint production company, service companies, in terms of technology transfer and sales uh, of uh, ready made products on the license based, uh, also training the personnel. Then say implementation infrastructure pro, uh, projects, so it's terminal construction, a renovation of the ports, uh, and shipbuilding facilities. The third, we need to focus on research activities. I think that today event will let us uh, go ahead in all these three areas of interest and it'll give us an impetus in developing this uh, quality development of projects and sites of the projects. And some of the studied projects brought us to the level when we can turn from words to the action. So the trade uh, uh, mission of Russian Federation India is ready to uh, facilitate all these projects uh, to make the breakthrough in uh, this uh, improvement of their our economic relationships uh, relations to all countries. Also, I, I personally interested in this, so I welcome everybody and I wish fruitful work as uh, the, uh, actually, uh, the member of the board of support of the fleet. I want to give my, uh, 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 the floor to my business via from the Embassy in Russia. I'm given the floor to Dr. Vokra, who represents the trade representation of the Indian Russian Federation. Please. Thank you, Dr. Rebus. Um, Mr. Alexander Rebus, um, I think at the outset I should thank you for all the support you've extended to. Um, shipbuilding um, <laughs> projects between India and Russia. Mr. Asim, Mr. Asim, uh, just uh, one second, please. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Asim, Mr. Asim, yes. one second. Please, could you choose, please, English channel in the panel of your computer? Uh, uh, English uh, English channel, the panel. Russian channel right you can see on the Russian. Please uh, uh, press the button with English channel of uh, uh, for interpreter, uh, in, in, in interpreters. Please choose the English channel. Okay. Thank you. It is English.
Is this better? Is this okay? No, no. You just need to uh, press the button English. Uh, okay. It was English only. Now it's better. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Um, I'll try to be brief, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me here, uh, Mr. Pomilev, uh, Commander Bhargav, Mr. Karodia, and uh, special thanks to Mr. Alexander Rebas for supporting us in our shipbuilding uh, collaboration over the last year and a half. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have worked really, really hard um, between uh, the trade representation in India and the Embassy of India, with support of partners like CII and NEVA. um over the last year and a half to make shipbuilding yeah, one of the yeah. prime projects of our bilateral collaboration um russia of course has always been a world power in shipbuilding and uh, and and in uh, repair and maintenance projects and india is fast emerging thanks to its uh, new thrust given by uh, the ministry of shipping um and together we have done a lot of things over a year and a past uh, year and a half uh, that oh is God. now past um most importantly i think we should recognize that both countries are attempting to bring the countries physically together and when i say physically together it means logically uh, maritime connectivity now of course the traditional india international north south transport corridor has a very strong maritime link we are trying to strengthen that we have the eastern maritime corridor which prime minister modi announced just last week um during the plenary in the presence of president putin when we are saying that we want to connect the east far east uh, of the russia to the eastern border of india i am very pleased to inform uh, everybody that this study is expected to be finished by the by the end of this month so that will add another boost to our ship building and maritime connectivity uh and thirdly our prime minister also announced that we want to partner with russia in making the northern sea route uh, an international trade artery and we have had a lot of discussions with the russian side on this uh but for the uh, benefit of this particular session this also gives us new opportunities of ship building and maritime collaboration in the arctic um ladies and gentlemen i think one big sector that emerged uh in in our previous interactions was the inland waterways uh, mr rebas has already spoken about it um in addition to what he said i would just like to highlight two or three major sectors uh one is electric boats and water metros um disaster management training and uh, and collaboration between ship design bureaus and then of course this is in addition to what mr rebas already said um and and we have in the past shared a list of indian tenders with the russian companies um uh, what i would request at the end of this is if neva can help us uh, connect indian companies with russian uh, tenders as well uh, you know um our prime minister announced uh, india's target of exporting 400 billion dollar worth uh, in in this financial year and i saw a message on this group saying that you know they want to export manufacturing tools and engineering products now this is just another corollary to our ship building collaboration we will be very happy uh, to support any such uh, endeavors from indian side uh, when we talk about ship building it also involves a lot of machine tools engineering solutions uh, if you have any please let us know as well we will work with russian partners to get indian companies access to russian market um uh, apart from what we have been discussing in a b2b format we are also uh, having a very robust dialogue on a governmental level we expect that uh, um we will be able to announce some good outcomes soon in the coming months but these are under consideration as of now um another issue very interesting thing that is happening on the sides Uh, is that a lot of russian companies are looking at serious investments in indian uh, maritime sector um and similarly some of indian companies are also looking at big investments in the uh, on the russian side we hope to be able to announce some good outcomes in the coming months again um 
uh, another uh, related development is that we are working closely with certain uh, maritime universities in Russia to get training for Indian seafarers in polar navigation. I mentioned the Northern Sea Route earlier, and 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 in riverine transport. Um, I am I'm very hopeful that there is a very a strong document called the Certificate of Competency of Seafarers, which is very close to finalization between the two sides. Once this is approved, it will allow Indian seafarers to work on Russian flagships. Um, so that will be another feather in the cap for our bilateral collaboration. Um, I think I would like to just conclude on a very positive note. Uh, in 2019, I, I, I had the honor of being present with Prime Minister uh, Modi in Vladivostok when he announced that India would like to partner uh, with Zvezda. Zvezda is Russia's biggest dry shipyard in shipbuilding. And this year, I had the pleasure of being present at Zvezda uh, again with our Minister of Petroleum. Uh, and during this visit, we signed the first memorandum of intent of Mazgao Dock Limited to construct civilian commercial ships at Zvezda uh, shipyard. So I think this is just the beginning. Uh, with support of NEVA, Mr. Rebas and EEPC, uh, Embassy of India will be always available uh, to any Indian companies uh, in helping them collaborate with the Russian partners. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak today. Dr. Vukha, a great thank you for the Thanks for your presentation and that you put the stress on maritime cooperation. Uh, St. Petersburg is actually a stronghold for this uh, because we've got university where we are actually uh, uh, located now and also a lot of facilities that production facilities of this um, area. I would like to give uh, the floor to Arun Kumar, who's the pre vice president of APC India. It's a uh, uh, council of uh, engineer expert of companies of India. Please. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, I welcome Dr. Asim Bora and I welcome other dignitaries and delegates here. Uh, I'm the vice chairman of EEPC India. This is the largest export promotion council with 25% of the merchandise exports to its credit. The council was set up in the year 1955 and the Ministry of Commerce, Government of India. And uh, we have more than 13,000 members with us. And uh, out of that, you will know that uh, we have uh, almost uh, over 70% MSMEs working for engineering business. We have 42 engineering panels, which supplies, manufactures, and supplies many items all over the world today, including Russia. And uh, this council was set up uh, for policy advocacy, basically for the trade promotion, business partnerships. We have in-house publications, and uh, we send all these publications to all our consulates and embassies all over the world. Well, uh, we are registered with the France-based uh, UFI, which is a global association for the exhibition industry. And uh, as we all know, shipbuilding's influence on the national growth comes in various ways, like sea trade and economy. It generates huge employment, national security, growth of the ancillary industry. That is our focus point we are looking at for the MSMEs of our country. Then the technology development takes place along when we go across. The important thing is that today, Russia and India, Russia is very important to India today. The trade between Russia and India amounted to $10 billion in the year 2019-20. And uh, our Prime Minister has set up a target of $30 billion for Indian companies for 2025. So we hope to achieve these results in very short time. And uh, let me tell you that uh, the foundations have been established by India in the heavy engineering sector, such as uh, mining, metals, capital goods, and machine building sectors. We have, like as I mentioned, 42 panels of uh, products. We have been developing business in all the panels. Then we have major niche partner, 
in the engineering sectors in the defense as well as the aerospace today the shipyards in india they are uh, currently doing a lot of work for indian navy coast guard and russia is an uh, important uh, defense technology partner for india they were employed in the shipping industry as a multiplier effect and the one worker employed in the shipyard is about 6.4 in ancillary industries the major if shipping product exports from india has been to the tune of 4 billion dollars approximately in the year 2020 we have grown every year on that and we find that uh, imports in the shipping building industry in russia has been to the tune of 1.68 billion dollars which has also grown but not grown sizeably now we would like to grow that business in a very big way which includes maritime vessels maybe barges cruise ships maybe the hovercrafts maybe the yachts shipping with uh, fishing vessels factory ships maybe several submersible uh, drilling platforms and things like that and so on now i'd like to discuss about the indian shipping capabilities that we have today india saw a modest uh, increase of 9.7% from 11 uh, uh, million tons to about 13 million tons uh, between 2017 until 2020 we have a very strong msme support system with us for the ship building and the repair and we would like to develop more and more businesses with russian counterparts each ship building project creates logistics spares and the project ecosystems which is supplied to the oems ancillary industries and msmes msmes could play a very dominant role and very capable role we have our three public entities in the shipyards like our ambassador just now mentioned goa shipyard cochin shipyard hindustan shipyard and three private shipyards also we have which is uh, called pipawa shipyard bharti shipyard and uh, lnt shipyard they have the infrastructure and capability to build larger vessels for any part of the world today the recent advancement announced by our government of india has been make in india atmanirbhar india a vision that the naval ship building is becoming more and more indigenized in the coming times currently out of 40 the total out of 51 vessels 40 naval ships and submarines are constructed in the indian shipyards which is a great game now cochin shipyard has been able to make uh, building of the autonomous uh, electrical vessels also for asco maritime norway we have the cluster initiative level also initiative have been taken by the government and india's first maritime cluster is being developed in goa which is known as goa as a konkan maritime cluster which is going to see light of the day shortly and the maritime cluster will comprise about 14 goan enterprises and uh, this will utilize about 14000 square kilometer of land and it will be set up as a world class common manufacturing facility with designs and allied services for the ship building industry other maritime clusters are also being proposed in the state of tamil nadu and in gujarat in the near future well let us speak something about the russia india potential in ship building partnership i would like to focus more and more on our msmes which are of a great help today which are seeing big business getting developed from india russia and india act as a gateway to the growing markets in the cis as well as south asia over 80% of the global merchandise trade and india's 90% of international cargo is transported over the border this is a big time that we could develop more and more of ship building india is host to one of the most important trade crossing connecting the far east with the europe nearly 50% of container traffic and 70% of the trade in energy sells through this region only and uh, the russian <laughs> indian fleet is almost 15 to 20 years in the last two decades and uh, we like to focus on this average is since it is increasing from 15 to 20 we would like to build up more and more ships we would like to develop more and more components machine tools and whatever is required our fabrication industry with the msme members of pvc is very very strong 
they are shipping to all parts of the world today and we would like russian counterparts to join hands with us so that india could see big development with the russian counterparts and uh, engage with them to manufacture a lot of uh, you know components machine tools fabrications or whatever it is needed like these clusters in india are also going to manufacture different types of metal fabrication they are going to supply design they will develop the development of the see uh, designs and fabrication with all sorts of engineering we would like to bring in our russian counterparts the friends to come to india and develop this business with us we will also like to organize as usually what we have been doing we are organizing uh, buyer seller meets reverse buyer seller meets we are taking delegations to different countries similarly we would like to take delegation to russia also or we can to start with start with the virtual b2b webinars and conferences which will translate into the physical trade fairs and buyer to buyer meetings in russia or maybe in india likewise our vendor development uh, program the strong linkages we have with the public sector undertakings and large manufacturers in india we, we can organize regularly the vendor development sessions within india and with our overseas buyers our de- vendor development and sourcing meets could see light of the day by bringing more and more global mnc's especially from russia which we are looking and focusing today for our future needs with this uh, growing economy india ship building industry is on the threshold of a very major overhaul we would like to have more and more collaborations to upgrade in the value chain and become more com- cost competitive so that we can have more and more trade relations with india and we would like to develop more and more strategic partnerships and the msmes can really come to a big help we have big companies also the shipyards and other companies they are definitely capable today but given a chance these msmes could also prove and come in a big way between the development of the trade and opportunities between india and russia thank you very much organizers for giving me this opportunity to speak thank you большое спасибо за ваш доклад thanks for your presentation is interests the so the plans to, uh, to by 2025 to triple the uh, trade turnover between russia and india epc is uh, making great work in promoting facilitating the indian shipbuilding companies as cluster approach uh, that showed a uh, great uh, benefit not only india but in other countries and uh, epc actually promoted the delegation of indian specialists for niva and let's give us the floor to commander mukesh uh, mukesh uh, 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 who is uh, the chairman of western department of confederation indian industry please come thank, thank you very much A very good afternoon to you, Dhamai Gaspada. Uh, it's my indeed a great pleasure to be here with you once again for this second international online conference for the prospect of cooperation between Russia and India. I'm very happy to note that great work, uh, great work is being done by the organizers who have put together a second conference in such a short time. My compliments to the organizers. We at CII act as a partner and facilitator for Indian industry as they strengthen bilateral trade and economic ties with Russian Federation. Russia has been the most reliable and trusted partner to India for many decades. CII believes that our traditional long-term relationship would facilitate the Russian and Indian companies to extend cooperation in many sectors, in particular shipbuilding. it is endeavor to enhance economic and business ties with russia cii has been engaging with russia at both government as well as industry level for the past several years cii has been working tirelessly for many years to diversify the economic partnership between india and russia involvement of private sector in shipbuilding industry is one such area where we see tremendous potential for growth 
in the years to come. Indo-Russian defense cooperation has always been a matter of pride for all of us, as very aptly mentioned by Dr. Seem Gora and Mr. Arun Kumar. Russia has been stable, reliable, and a trusted partner of India in the defense sector. This mutually beneficial relationship has strengthened over the years, both in terms of industrial as well as government-to-government -government engagements. Our defense cooperation has withstood the test of time. Shipbuilding is one such area where the positives from existing defense partnership can be leveraged positively and can be translated into robust cooperation in commercial shipbuilding sector as well. This relationship can be effortlessly expanded in the areas of ship design, ship building, ship repairs, logistics, MRO, inland waterways, and the port sector, just to mention a few. India, as we all know, lies in a strategic location in the Indian Ocean on the east-west trade route. Historically, India has been one of the oldest shipbuilders on this planet and have been constructing and repairing ships for centuries. In the Indian Ocean region, India has a major country to have a fully developed shipbuilding and ship repair industry, which would need to grow in order to address the increased cargo volume, which has been globally projected. The Indian shipbuilding industry has traditionally been led by the government owned shipyards. However, we witness an increasing involvement of private sector shipyard in the past few years. The entry of private shipyards has augmented the design, engineering, and construction capability of the shipbuilding sector in India by bringing in paradigm changes in build philosophies. The introduction of digital 3D design softwares, customized tools for enhancing the quality of design, ensuring reduction of rework through first-time right approach, achieving drastic reduction in cycle time of various shipbuilding activities, easing the repair and refit of ships using digital techniques, 3D modelings, are some of the globally best-in-class modern practices being extensively used by Indian private sector shipyards, which could also be of interest to Russian shipyards as well. The Indian shipbuilding industry has adapted the industry 4.0 practices to include digitalization, automation, ensuring real-time online quality assurance, thus reducing the entire production cycle time. This positions India in providing manufacturing support to Russian shipyards. Indian shipyards are having state-of-the-art captive design capabilities and a lot of spare capacity. In this context, it is pertinent to mention that just a few years back, Mr. Strugov, when he visited the LNT Katupali shipyard, he stated that he has seen many shipyards in the entire Europe. Katupali shipyard is almost contemporary with most of these shipyards. We also understood that, uh, we all understand that waterways provide the most economical solution for inland, inland transportation of passengers as well as cargo. However, despite the commercial advantage, the inland waterways in India, and as I understand, also in Russia, are losing out to the road transport. As a result, the shipyards along the Ganges River in India and the Volga River in Russia are in dire strait, fighting to survive. This calls for bringing waterways transport furthermore uh, economic and effective. This is where combining the design capabilities of Russian side and the detailed design ability and manufacturing capabilities of the Indian shipyard can fruitfully contribute and combine to restore the waterways transport in both India and Russia. As the Indian industry grows and matures with enhanced participation of the private sector, along with the public sector shipyards, the ship construction capability and capacities are bound to increase where design and construction of complete platforms of in by Indian shipyards not only, meet, not only will meet the domestic demand, but also meet the demand of the global market. 
we are now witnessing the make in india program transition into the art nirbhar bharat campaign several policy initiative have been taken by the government which aim to create a long term momentum towards the growth of indian shipbuilding industry in the times to come the program of sagar mala which is interconnection of various small and medium ports inland waterways which is leveraging numerous riverine networks for inland transportation of personal goods and services make in india and atmanirbhar bharat these are the programs that present huge opportunities to russian shipbuilding companies to enter into the indian market the focus of these schemes has been improving ease of doing business on simplifying procedures by removing irritants that make it cumbersome to carry out business smoothly for example giving infrastructure status to shipbuilding industry exclusion of services of transportation of import cargo by ships on voyages charter from negative list countries zero rating of services for transportation of export cargo by indian ships reduction of service tax incidence on coastal shipping reduction of central excise duty on capital goods raw material and spares used for repair of ocean going vessels and implementation of e payment mode for collection of ocean freight are just to mention a few of these initiatives india today makes some of the most complex ships and submarines however for some of the core technologies india still looks up to friends from russia which has these technologies and capabilities however the high cost of labor does not make it cost effective to import these technologies from russia therefore there is a strong case for us to work together with the advantage of cutting it technologies from russia and cost competitive skilled labor force from indian shipyards together we can make shipbuilding for the whole world current policies of government of india under make in india initiative and deeper collaboration with russia can produce the most cost effective shipbuilding platforms for the world with these words i wish the indo russian shipbuilding seminar immense success jai hind shamno varuna thank you выступление я бы хотел перед тем как very much for the presentation before uh, the next session I would like to note that we all can see that there is great interest um, towards the work from to the Russian market from the Indian companies and here uh, you can apply to the consortium of marine equipment uh, this uh, is this enterprise is called Anasuprom uh, it's also included in the ministry of uh, uh, industry and trade and also actively Uh, tackles uh, the issues of localization uh, of Russian companies, uh, uh, so they can help you with partners. Uh, they have uh, developments uh, and also certified documents. You can get familiar with these possibilities, and then you can see what remarkable advantages um, you can have. And uh, uh, those Indian companies uh, who make use of uh, uh, this um, initiative, they can uh, work easily at the Russian market, and the localization procedure will be much easier because we know that localization procedure uh, is uh, quite uh, critical for us today. Now, session next session. Um, Uh, this is like the main uh, our um, section. Uh, I would like to give the floor uh, to uh, um, um, Boris uh, Alexandrovich, uh, who represents uh, the center of uh, Shidin, uh, which is in the in Saint Petersburg. Um, I would like uh, uh, to uh, present our center of shipbuilding. Uh, maybe we can also cooperate with Indian. Uh, Right uh, in the area of creation of infrastructure on repair uh, and maintenance of ships and vessels. Uh, so uh, here you can see our project. Um, 
um, we we uh, can you give you proposals for development of inland waterways in the Republic of India. We've got uh, quite an extensive experience. Uh, and here, as you can see, uh, due, since 92, practically for 30 years um, uh, and uh, till the present time, we uh, we have been working um, in a lot of in military uh, areas, in defense areas. Uh, so um, uh, here we um, uh, repaired uh, sub submarines and different vessels uh, um, in India, like Mumbai, Karwar, Kochi, cities. Um, uh, also, in the Republic of India, we would like also to develop shipbuilding and um, uh, develop uh, river and marine uh, ships. Uh, the Center of um, uh, Technologies uh, offers a complex solution, uh, starting from the design uh, till rendering uh, um, uh, different help and services to the Indian side. This is our center of technology, so this is uh, how it looks like. We can provide uh, uh, creation of uh, certain infrastructure uh, during um, uh, the whole um, marine ways um, in the Republic of India. Uh, our um, enterprise um, um, can uh, construct any types of vessels, any type of vessels, and it's, it, this is very important. Uh, uh, yards for construction and repairs of any type of ships, hydraulic structures, power supply facilities, objects for vessels and disposal. Uh, all capacities um, are calculated by the center of technology of uh, ship repairing and shipbuilding on the basis of real um, need uh, of uh, consumers um, uh, for long term and short term um, periods. Um, then also the center of technology uh, worked uh, at different options um, uh, of um, um, using our capacities on the basis of the current uh, facilities uh, and in particular in the eastern part of orissa state with the use of the current uh, already facilities we can provide um, um, medium tonnage and heavy tonnage vessels. Uh, on the territory of Calcutta city, uh, we um, also worked um, um, at construction and repairs of river vessels, river and seagoing vessels, and seagoing vessels and ships. Uh, and uh, here uh, we um, use different types of vessels um, and provided uh, repairs repair works uh, for river vessels like uh, um, marine vessels and river vessels. The center of technology uh, of shipbuilding uh, can work uh, at different capacities on all possible platforms for creating new uh, objects or modernization of the current objects. We can also conduct a pre-project uh, work. Uh, we can develop documentation and uh, we can work at the principal technologies uh, and then we can supervise uh, the construction. Besides the uh, construction and design uh, and infrastructure for building uh, the vessels, uh, the center uh, can um, uh, also uh, have, uh, uh, can help uh, for all uh, uh, types uh, of works, process equipment for hull fabrication, welding, piping, mechanical installation, equipment for ship disposal, composite material processing, ship construction, lifting and launching equipment. And in addition, I would like uh, to say briefly that one of the uh, direction of uh, SSTS, um, SSTC um, Direction uh, is uh, to offer services for developing conceptual and technical projects and working design documentation towards construction and repairs of civil vessels for various purposes. Uh, in such a way, um, uh, we uh, can establish infrastructure for construction and maintenance of vessels um, along uh, the whole length uh, of uh, uh, Indian ways. Um, Please uh, be a little bit brief because we are running out of time. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. It was a very interesting presentation. Now I would like to give the floor to Yekaterina Artushenkova. She's not here. 
А вот только что написали. Mm -hmm. не, не, да, Владимир Хамидович. Mm -hmm. Тогда извините, пожалуйста, ее не... Uh, sorry, in this case, so Екатерина is absent, but we have Владимир Хамидулин, uh, who will uh, present a very interesting company, knows engineering, knows engineering. Uh, please, you're welcome. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Troisky Alexander, the general director of News Engineering. So I would like to, to demonstrate the screen. So I will... Uh, So in this case, uh, please uh, shift the channels. So underneath you have um, the panel. Не могу найти. Давайте, чтобы время не тратить, расскажу русски. Okay, I will speak in, in Russian. Thank you very much for this opportunity to participate in this conference. I will uh, say a couple of words uh, about our company. It's called No News Engineering. It's located in St. Petersburg, Smart Approach to Dredging. We have been working already for more than 10 years. We work not only in Russia, but also abroad. Uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, different deliveries uh, to Asia. Uh, and uh, we work uh, uh, at the whole solutions. So Our office in, is in St. Petersburg. Uh, and uh, we... Uh, um, Uh, we uh, have worked at more than 100 vessels equipped. So, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, dredging devices. Um, and, and also, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, remote control uh, of um, uh, dredging projects. Um, Uh, we can see what happens underwater, and uh, then we can correlate our activities at which we work, um, and this increases uh, our efficiency, sometimes quite a lot. And um, uh, practically now, um, uh, our dredging facilities don't work um, without these technologies, and we compete with um, Dutch um, companies. Um, uh, these uh, systems uh, have been working uh, for um, all different types of works. Um, and uh, our positioning and monitoring systems helps to find the most effective and sufficient operating mode for a dredger. Um, here, the primary function of uh, the non slurry meter is on-the-fly logging of the productive output of the dredge pump. In its basic configuration, system has the following functions to have real-time dredge output information, Uh, also, traditionally, we have to use isotope means, uh, but for many years so we have uh, had demand um, um, which uh, uh, it was excluded, which exclu excluded uh, this isotope solution. And for several years ago, we solved this, and now we have the solution which allows us to avoid the use of radiation uh, to measure for measurements um, and also. Uh, we um, uh, have um, uh, also um, uh, we have, can avoid cut in, uh, in into the pipes um, uh, and we can measure the density and the speed uh, of uh, rotation of the device. Uh, these sensors um, uh, uh, can be made of different types of materials. Uh, we checked um, Uh, them together with France uh, uh, two years ago, uh, the company uh, had benchmarking on the um, uh, built uh, stand, different sensors from different uh, country producers, uh, they measured the density and weight of radiation, and we were one of them, we showed excellent results, and we were the only ones who offered uh, the solutions which did not have cut in uh, cut in. Uh, we um, cut in solution. We have a different solution. It's uh, like overlapping solution. And um, for today, um, 
uh, we uh, have um, uh, we use this census um, um, quite well um, on uh, different types uh, of dredges um, and in india we have um, uh, the representative uh, um, uh, in uh, uh, mumbai um, we have uh, the uh, the branch um, and uh, our colleagues are always ready to answer the questions if you have any questions uh, and um, also uh, we will be at the exhibition of Niva. And if you go to our booth there, we will demonstrate our equipment together. Uh, thank you very much. Vladimir, thank you very much. Uh, the company is very innovative. Uh, and this idea of um, uh, sensors which are not cut in, but uh, we, which, uh, which uh, 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 overlaps um, uh, the system. Uh, so here we can really uh, develop navigation systems and the company is already advancing in the west and in the east. Now I would like to give the floor to Ivan Nikrasov. Uh, this is Christy Hovercraft. Uh, we have spoken a lot about river vessels uh, and um, internal ways uh, and Ivan uh, will tell us about the possibilities which are uh, already existing because of this company. Uh, hovercraft, uh, which are on uh, air cushion um, um, device. Uh, hello, I represent the company Albatros. Uh, we develop uh, and deliver uh, the vessels um, on air cushion, a mod model Christie uh, and Elbo for 18 years already. And uh, uh, so here we are uh, advanced uh, and we have uh, the air cushion amphib amphibian type. Uh, we uh, can see uh, the passenger uh, capacity uh, to more people than it was uh, uh, earlier. And we have the vessels of special destination with uh, the passenger capacity uh, till eight people practically and the air cushion uh, um, uh, devices uh, have two different schemes. We have uh, two storage um, uh, fencing uh, for commercial and for civil uh, purposes. And also, uh, you can see here uh, that um, uh, we have um, some other very important characteristics uh, at present. Uh, uh, our uh, vessels are quite um, um, popular at different uh, markets, uh, 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 both uh, um, domestic markets and foreign markets. And uh, our product uh, was uh, um, uh, was highly evaluated uh, by a lot of uh, uh, producers, and uh, that's why we have uh, uh, competitive. Uh, um, products and now uh, we um, export our products. Было поставлено пять судов на воздушной подушке пятой и седьмой серии. О них чуть подробнее я немного расскажу в конце доклада. Также до всех из местных э, мировых событий с пандемией коронавируса мы вели переговоры о строительстве производственной площадки в Индии при участии компании Махиндра и Махиндра. В настоящее время мы активно используем комплектующие индийского производства. And, uh, uh, here in India uh, we uh, also uh, participate quite quickly. We use uh, uh, components at our vessels and now our vessels have uh, also a different um, ropes and machines uh, and uh, we have the program of professional additional preparation. ...поддержку при разработке технического задания на поставку специализированных судов на воздушную подушку. Наше преимущество. Суда на воздушной подушке Кристи имеют идеальный баланс мощности силовых установок при их надежности, ремонтопригодности и доступности запасных частей. Наши суда на воздушной подушке исключительно мобильны. Процедура погрузки и разгрузки на транспортное средство, которое, которым может быть простой прицеп обыкновенного автомобиля, может выполняться одним-двумя людьми в течение трех-пяти минут. Суда на воздушной подушке без ограничений могут перевозиться как по дорогам общего пользования, так и по просеточным. Да, на воздушной подушке Кристи. Переводчик, переводчик, вернитесь на английский канал. Вы переключились случайно на русский. Окей. Срочно. Угу, хорошо. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, these air cushion vessels, uh, Christy, have a very convenient side uh, uh, parts and also a very convenient uh, uh, platforms uh, with uh, different types of fans. And all our vessels are based using module scheme and we can um, uh, change different um, nodes uh, quite uh, uh, quickly. The hub, um, the hull uh, is made of different composite materials uh, and not aluminium. And the fiberglass details are not uh, um, uh, are um, are not subject to corrosion. Uh, so uh, our um, we have quite uh, a well, um, um, you know, uh, uh, availability on the roads. Uh, and in this case, expenditure on repairs uh, and uh, um, uh, on different other components are much more cost efficient. Uh, and a lot of segments. Uh, easily replaceable uh, within uh, several minutes uh, without a labor process of lifting the vessel. And it is extremely important that our bureau um, um, has um, gives a full um, uh, complex of production, manufacture. In this case, uh, now we can uh, um, change our models uh, of fire and uh, um, different precautions are also done and uh, all uh, com composite materials uh, are the best uh, in the areas uh, and uh, uh, also uh, we have uh, sandwich uh, panels uh, out of fiberglass uh, and it provides for 100 percent of protection uh, from any damage and uh, uh, so here we have protection uh, uh, from a breaking of um, uh, the hull uh, so also um, our vessel is uh, quite uh, um, uh, dense um, and if it's um, full with water our amphibious device will be in the horizontal position climate change uh, increases uh, the demand uh, for amphibious vessels especially uh, over um, uh, for saving um, reasons uh, and very often uh, we um, expand uh, this application of such vessels for scientific purposes and the uh, transport for geological groups. Uh, it's a high manoeuvre means uh, to liquidate all spills and gather rubbish from uh, the surface, from the water surface. Uh, as a conclusion, I would like to show you the video of our customers from India, the company Hover Top, uh, which uh, own our four uh, air cushion vessels um, and they use them uh, uh, for touristic and entertainment purposes. Uh, these vessels uh, are demonstrated for Indian climate and also they have modified system of cooling, of engine cooling. And uh, uh, we uh, also could transport uh, uh, these vessels uh, on, uh, on containers.
Спасибо за внимание. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. We know that Russia has uh, quite a lot of knowledge about different types of vessels, um, internal um, and uh, high-speed vessels, uh, submarines, um, and we'll speak about them later, also air cushion vessels. And today, uh, the um, uh, implementation and realization is very important. Our guys are already working in India. It's a remarkable example how we should work. Uh, and uh, this is great for touristic purposes and other types and other types of operation. Uh, so, Christian, um, you can see here that it's uh, highly safe uh, and uh, very good naviga navi navi navigability. Uh, it's quite difficult uh, sometimes to realize this on air cushion vessels. Uh, so that's uh, great, uh, and, uh, and also it's good that we have representatives in India. Now um, uh, I uh, would like to give the floor to Ilya Maslikin, uh, Design Bureau on Sanlik, who is in our studio. I want to welcome all the participants of the conference and thank for inviting me to speak about our company. The design bureau of Starlit was founded in the 1970s in, on the premises uh, of the educational institution we are at now, and it's a pleasure for me to be here. It started in 1975. It would be nice just to get it downloaded. Houston, у нас проблема. While they are starting up, I say they started in the 1970s till now. Is working in the area of shipbuilding. And uh, related engineering works. During this time, we've been joined with some. Uh, uh, experience of our colleagues and to get to what we are dealing with now. Our competences lie in the area of uh, performing works of optimization of the structure and the, the, and the stability of the calculations and uh, allowing to perform unique uh, speed features. Okay, so we uh, to, to design and make uh, high speed vessels. So currently, we are dealing with uh, uh, a 30 meter aluminum catamaran with a total speed of around 50 knots. Uh, so we're working in the area of uh, reducing wave reducing uh, 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 drag uh, uh, 
based on liquefied natural gas. That's the sphere of our interest. Additionally, we're dealing with the design of onboard vessel equipment, we're dealing with modernization uh, of the vessels, about 350 uh, to 400 uh, projects were implemented on, based on our projects, uh, on our designs. Uh, so sea rivers, uh, uh, great vessels, uh, small size fishing vessels. This one, 30 meter uh, sail uh, boat, sails We are, we've tested on other vessels and we are waiting for the projects to be implemented. We've developed a number of, of, of modular vessels. Uh, that are capable of uh, uh, transportation of uh, uh, tr um, road transport to uh, hardly passable areas. And we got them some tugs, barges, draggers. So the a range of products is so wide that you it, it gets you hard to, to remember it can be uh, are available in written form once of implementing also uh, hydrogen and electrical propulsion design and uh, uh, we are planning for Full scale to uh, test of, of a electric vessel. And that's it, I think. Uh, so I can carry on with this going on and on endlessly. And I'll be glad to answer the questions. So you've got the context of the organizers. You haven't used the word cluster. Uh, but uh, just to to bring all your products uh, to the re real substantial outcome uh, needs a joint work with many many organizations and also we use the um, students and graduates of uh, St. Petersburg Marie Marine Engineering Institute. University and also to give the floor to for input potential discussions about so to so India. I would like to give the floor to Ekaterina Artushenko. Ah, she, she is not available. So the point is that we've got the center of, of uh, St. Petersburg Expert Support Center and it's active in facilitating and promoting old pressure within the also current. So thanks, Kirill Silas. As an organizer of uh, NIVA exhibition, we are actively supporting expert companies in Russia and expert companies in India. And now we are turning to the section of expert potential, the Indian companies. I am happy to give the floor to Mr. Moh Iqbal, the general director of Moh Marine Transport our friend and the person who is actively promoting English Russia, uh, Indian Russian cooperation in, uh, in shipbuilding area. What is worse? Moh Iqbal, we're giving the floor to you. Yes, sir. Oh, greetings. Good afternoon for all of you. 
I am really delighted to participate in this conference. Uh, industrial relationship with Russia, Russian Federation, and Indian government is age old to the Brahmos. The superior technology of shipping industry of Russian Federation will to be used in India. So we need Russia to be cooperative with us. The cooperation of utilization of the most friendliest country, Russian Federation to India, and especially the field of shipping industry could well be improved and cemented further. There is a huge and vast potential in India for the entrepreneur of Russian Federation of Shipping Industry for exploitation. India has 7,500 kilometers of sea coast of Indian Ocean. Being a peninsula surrounded on three sides by sea. It has also nearly 14,500 kilometers of inland and river waters, untapped and unutilized for waterborne transport, both passenger and cargo. It is almost underutilized. In a small way, we as an organization, in co uh, we are going to deploy hovercrafts for mobility of waterborne passengers between Navi Mumbai and mainland Mumbai. A stretch of 50 kilometers by a creek called Thane. It is this deployment of hovercrafts for transporting the passengers is to reduce the sickening traffic snarl of road transport every day in Mumbai region. There is, you will appreciate that we have placed order for four hovercrafts with the shipyard of hovercrafts near St. Petersburg and each hovercraft has got a seating capacity of 20 and 23. The model is Neptune 23. The owner of the shipyard is Mr. Valery. And he has already manufactured for us two hovercrafts. Because of the COVID situation, the delivery could not be taken. I will also bring it to kind notice the hovercrafts manufacturers in Russia are in small scale and related to producing for relief operations and their capacity of the hovercrafts are only uh, about 10 to 12, mostly, mostly. But we need the hovercrafts over the size of 20, over the size of 30 in the longer run. In Esmo. There is, a, in addition, there is another area where the Russian cooperation can be done with the Indian entrepreneurs. There is a great potential for operation of passenger ships between Mumbai and other parts of the Indian ports of of Jidda of Islamic port that is in Saudi Arabia for transporting 56,000 pilgrimage passengers by sea during the Hajj season of three months. The government of India has signed an agreement with the Saudi Arabian government to pro to bring the passengers, pilgrimage passengers by ship, which cost them less because the government of India was subsidizing 
the air ferry for passengers, which they want to eliminate. So they need about 10 ships. They floated the global tender. Unfortunately, it has not, nobody has come forward. That is one area where the Russian shipping can be, can address the problem and we will be of very much assistance and help to you, to any of the people who are coming forward. In addition, you must also understand it is not for three months the passengers are transported through uh, to Saudi Arabia as a pilgrimage center. Throughout the year, apart from the Hajj time, the passengers who cannot afford to go by air would like to go by ship to visit the holy shrines of Mecca and Medina. There is a huge unlocked potential, unlocked potential for the passenger transport between these two nations, especially from Mumbai. But one thing is the, the ships that are going to transport the passengers to Saudi Arabia, to the, uh, to the Islamic port of Jiddah in the uh, Gulf of Ireland, Gulf of Ireland. It should be within three to four days. Mr. Mokakbal, uh, прошу прощения, что вас прерываю. Uh, uh, there's just one minute left. Yeah. Government of India, the potential so fast deploying this throughout the year mm -hmm. between Mumbai and Jida, as I told you. Leaving aside the boat, there's a possibility of luxury cruise on, on short trips between Indian port and Sri Lankan port. Now, you will appreciate we due to COVID industry, COVID-19, uh, the, uh, the cruise companies are in doldrum. So if there are ships available in Russia for cruise ships, you could take it up also. It is also possible to have a fast ferry service by hydrofoil to transport between an Indian port and Sri Lankan port. And I suggest both the government of Russia and India can form a promotional committee comprising government officials and entrepreneurs from shipping industry of both the countries to address the problem, including funding co through cooperation of BRICS Bank, where both Russian Federation and India are members. It is therefore suggested that the trade ministries of both the government to take initiative holding conference every year, convening entrepreneurs involved in the shipping industry of both the countries, alternatively once in a year in the venue of their countries. These are the two suggestions I'm making it that finally I repeat and again repeat that the potential in India is sea deep, untouchable and available in platter or better maritime exploitation in the interest of the two nations. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Mr. Sargawa. Let me take both. Let take both things. It's about a proposal for the governments of India and Russia and, and, and uh, the production facilities because, uh, to promote the further development of our preparation. Uh, thanks to Moh Mr. Moh Iqbal for a very nice presentation. I'm giving the floor to if, if uh, with us, Mr. Prashant Kumar, uh, General Manager on the Logistics. Please give me your floor if you are available. Господин Прошан Кумар, 
Пожалуйста, вам слово, если вы еще с нами находитесь. Прошан Кумар, где мне это слово, и я все Так, господин Прошан Кумар, к сожалению, отключился. Uh, a number of uh, Russian companies. The presentation will be forwarded to them. Uh, and I'm giving the floor to Mr. Rajesh Margav. Uh, hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Rajesh Margav. Welcome to the conference. We're giving the floor. Good afternoon, uh, respected participants. Dobidin, уважаемые участники. Этой конференции. Спасибо за возможность. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. I am Rajesh Marwa. I am born in India, but I have lived in Russia, studied, lived and worked in Russia for many years. And now I am located in India, in Mumbai. Having worked in both the countries, I understand the psychology and business process movements. So I provide uh, liaison and representation services to Russian companies for representation in India and for Indian companies for representation and liaison and uh, in, in Russia. I also I work in both government and private sector. So uh, in addition to all what has been said by my respected uh, participants of this conference, Uh, I would like to add that any organization which needs representation, liaison, or any kind of assistance between uh, to facilitate trade or any activity between India and Russia, I am available at your service. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, спасибо большое, господин Раджеш. Спасибо большое, who will speak about education, partnership, and preparation of specialists in this area. Give the form to Everybody is clear that education and preparation of staff is the key issue. Not speaking not about creating new technologies by uh, not speaking about the creating platform, uh, about uh, for cooperation between our students and it's uh, the educational centers and maritime organizations we've got contacts with indian universities maritime universities maritime uh, organizations i'll speak about what we are doing at the basic uh, university for uh, for marine engineering St. Petersburg Marine Engineering University. It's, it's, it's partnering. And it's, uh, we are uh, partnering with NIVA 2021. It's taking place, uh, this uh, is held at the end of uh, this month. There's so some logos of the universities we are partnering with. Uh, we are hoping to have partnership with. We are located in St. Petersburg, beautiful city. We've got a Dr. Norris Koza, Professor Sivan Hano Pillai, who some time ago was the general director of Brahms Company. It's a joint company, a Russian-Indian joint company, but it's not a civil enterprise, but very well known. We are in close relationship with them and as we, we, with uh, webinars and conferences with them. 
national building through shipbuilding uh, conference that took place in New Delhi in 2019. was a delegation of him from Tork, uh, Minister Mirzansev, uh, Minister of Ministry of Trade and Industry. Indian colleagues visit our conference, uh, Marine Ro Robotics 2019, so the visit of uh, the, the Indian visitors. We work with Indian Foundation and the universities. I've shown the logos of this Gandhi University of Management and Technology, Andhra Pradesh, and also big university where the shipbuilding is a very important point. And the university we are planning to uh, deal with a Panchal University that are going to be uh, participate in our joint webinar conference that we organized. And some Elcom company plays a great role in this that actually helps to uh, collect and summon them. Participants as so an example of a conference that's starting almost simultaneously with Neva 2021. It's called Pami Summit. It's a pan, uh, Panation um, event, and Commodore uh, Deshmukh is the uh, vice president of San Elko. And his presentation is an example and some tendencies in shipbuilding sector as a step uh, for uh, ship in efficiency and environment friendliness improvement. In Ha Pradesh government, it's Economic Council, in Gandhi University, Ampra Pradesh University, we visited some slides about what our university is dealing with. We deal with a lot with marine technologies to supply. Uh, our uh, graduates uh, to, to the needs uh, of uh, the Russian Federation, but our graduates work abroad as well. Structural mechanics, hydrodynamic studies. It's uh, the forecasting and uh, Estimation of strength, reliability and physical states of ship at collision. Competition fluid dynamics. We also are ready to cooperate with our Indian partners. Arctic technologies take big part in our activities. Some, some of our departments are professors and authors of uh, books on Arctic technologies are dealing with this. Uh, we touch relations with uh, uh, Russian uh, Maritime Register, and we also bring some inputs into the rules and regulations and guidelines of uh, ship, shipbuilding, and also the uh, subwater, uh, subwater and, uh, uh, structures, underwater and wave gliders, all kind of subsea equipment and vehicles, very efficient using the renewable energy of the ocean. We build uh, and young, young students uh, use the hands and heads of our young students, some micro vehicles, and we make a flocks uh, and a shoals, groups of these vehicles that move under the water, uh, resolving specific tasks. We are involved in new technologies, specifically additive manufacturing. We've got laser-based about shipbuilding applications. We grow the direct laser growth uh, there actually is 
propeller screws. We're going to grow propeller screws. And the size of this propeller screws. And you can adjust them for different types of ships. We also produce and shell and sell, uh, we produce and sell robots. So the cooperation, uh, educational cooperation with Indian universities in, 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 very interesting. The bachelor programs and master programs are listed here. Our pride is a uh, dedicated courses called additional professional programs that are uh, actually delivered for specialists uh, who come from abroad or uh, they are delivered online. Mm. Uh, with, with, with all kinds of laser welding, uh, some other and, uh, Arctic and uh, uh, technology, and, uh, and of the delivered by uh, well known marine uh, shipbuilding uh, crew of center. Uh, we have uh, five accredited programs. So, um, Institute of Marine Science and Technology, the, uh, there's a, a Marine Engineer Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology in London that actually allowed to be to have all the relevant certificates to the graduates. Thanks for your attention. We're carrying on in and we are uh, thank you very much we are going to develop this thank you very much uh, Kirill Selich we're happy that St. Petersburg Marine University is uh, already known in the whole world and um, uh, it has more and more partners uh, in different countries uh, of the globe uh, and also uh, trains the best specialists in this area in different countries. Uh, now, um, I would like also to take note uh, that today uh, we have heard several presentations uh, of expert companies uh, of Russia and India, and also opinions of Indian companies regarding cooperation with the Russian companies. And also, uh, we have uh, we can see quite um, active uh, participation also in the chat of the conference. Producers, manufacturers of equipment, and uh, uh, Indian colleagues uh, share um, uh, the information about the products. Uh, they, uh, for example, could could not have an opportunity to participate in the conference, and they uh, are negotiating with their potential partners in the chat already, but still, uh, soon uh, the largest um, exhibition, NIVA 2021, uh, uh, will um, uh, take place um, from 21st uh, till 24th of September, and uh, still you have a chance um, uh, to go to this exhibition. Uh, you can uh, go uh, there um, in a private way or together with the delegation. Uh, you can connect us um, regarding this um, exhibition. India is an open country for the Russian Federation, um, and uh, the borders are already open between our countries. So you don't need anything except your visa to Russia. And uh, of course, negative PCR test uh, for COVID-19. We will be glad to at uh, this, uh, this exhibition. The new exhibition will present uh, Indian products um, and also uh, the newest possible um, uh, pr products of Russian companies to Indian uh, market. Uh, we'll have participants from 29 countries at this exhibition. Uh, the leading shipbuilding companies also will be present um, at this exhibition. I would like to give the floor for the final word um, uh, to Kirill Psyadolovich. Um, I would like to emphasize uh, uh, that um, we are proud International. of this um, uh, exhibition, but of course uh, the leading uh, player here is Niva International, and uh, they always um, uh, have this con these exhibitions, um, uh, and um, uh, we also have support from the Indian government uh, and some separate delegates also are supported uh, who will come to this Niva exhibition from India. Regarding our webinar, it seems to me that uh, we have successfully uh, achieved our goals, uh, which we had today um, for today. India is um, a, a grandiose partner for us, 
and we have um, a close cooperation between Russia and India also uh, in the areas of shipbuilding, marine equipment and a lot of other areas in this um, and the sphere. Uh, here we have great interest from the um, uh, Indian government and from the um, uh, part of um, a lot of Indian uh, companies. Uh, here localization is very important. It should be our focus. Um, the center of localization of Ministry of Industry and Trade is working in this area and also the Department of Marine Equipment. What else um, did we um, see today during our meeting. Of course, we have quite a powerful cooperation um, between governmental um, organizations, different centers, which also uh, today um, uh, made speech um, with the effort of Neva International Organization. We managed to gather the representatives of organizations and embassies. It is extremely important for us um, uh, that um, uh, that uh, also uh, we um, uh, here heard innovative companies uh, which are also catalysts uh, for this development. Uh, there are some companies uh, which um, are also implementing their products to the Indian companies and they help Indian companies to come to our market. And today we have heard uh, this about this company, Christie, uh, Hovercraft, Starly companies. And one more thing I would like to stress. Yes, today um, our subject was regarding uh, inland uh, water lines. Um, nobody can uh, forget that India has huge population. It's a huge resource, human resource for us. And when I'm present at the negotiations, uh, uh, we always ask our, uh, each other, how can we um, uh, take advantage of this uh, resource? Um, how we um, can um, cooperate um, with Indian uh, partners? Uh, and the Indian side asked us how many thousand or dozens of thousands of experts and specialists do you need? Uh, but we need special, yes, we need specialists in different areas. And how many they ask, uh, the Indian side asks, how many um, specialists in this direction? But India, it's one, I think it's one billion, 400 million people, and it's always constantly growing population. And this is really huge, it's big. And here we need to cooperate in the right way. We um, have very interesting projects in Russian Federation, and we can uh, localize uh, these things in India. And our, this uh, United Shipbuilding Corporation also advances this idea and focuses on this thing, localization. On behalf of um, our university, Korabelka University, um, on shipbuilding industry, we would like to thank Niva International Organization that also they advance us, promote us. And uh, I think um, that we uh, will be able to realize um, a joint uh, plans uh, on um, farmers conference um, here with the participation of scientific um, organizations Organization of um, Krylov um, Academician, Marine uh, University, Niva International Organization, and in particular, we'll have a very interesting section of marine robototechnics, which will be held on the 21st of September on the side of the exhibition Niva 2021 uh, uh, during, uh, at the Expert Forum. And uh, we also uh, invite the participants of Niva organization, international organization. I would like to thank all uh, the speakers, uh, all the participants today. We have very um, good people here, very, very important experts. Let's uh, cooperate even more actively. Thank you very much.